Hello guys and welcome back to another in-depth video. Today I am absolutely honored to be back in Havana. Y'all know this is a very exciting project and that's why I've decided before everything is finished, I want to go in depth behind the scenes. So this is the perfect opportunity to learn about the type of materials we're using, where they're being used, why they're being used in that way. We do make sure that we're using top tier, high and and premium finish uh, materials in every aspect so i want you guys to really understand the thought process behind why we choose the type of materials that we choose with that great introduction the only person who can say it even better than me is one of the fundis who's actually here working so i'm going to call over david who is a fundi that we are working with and he's going to come and tell us more about these details my name is david Okieno. Mm -hmm. I do carpentry and fittings. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been working with fine urban construction and materials? Fine urban. Mm -hmm. I've been working in fine urban mm -hmm. now for four years. Yes. Working in fine urban materials. So you must really have an in-depth knowledge of the type of materials. We tend to favor where we use them and why we use them in those different spaces. So the type of, of material that we have. Yes. We have a particle board. Yes and we have a MDF board. Mm -hmm. So MDF for MDF board, mm -hmm. we have inside MDF, we have a plain MDF yes. and the laminated MDF. So what's the difference? The difference is that mm -hmm. in particle boards, mm -hmm. we use a framework, mm -hmm. for kitchen framework okay. and wardrobe mm -hmm. framework. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so something like, you said plain MDF? Yeah. So plain MDF, mm -hmm. we use where we are going to paint mm. or to spray oh, okay yeah. mm -hmm. where we are going to spray mm -hmm. we normally use a plain mdf yeah and then the laminated and then is laminated uh, mdf mm -hmm. using doors finishing. yeah so i've told our audience that we're in a space that we're going to do some pieces for the living room we're going to have some for the laundry room yes, yes. some for the bathrooms for the, bathroom. the bedrooms yeah. Yeah. now i want you to tell me you said there's three different boards, three different boards. you can let, let's say for example in the laundry room which one is ideal because you know it has a lot of water and what kind of board would be ideal to in, be the in, that room, space? Yes. in the laundry room we use uh, laminated mm. mdf yes that's a ve very good for laundry yes yeah because of water mm. and the most moisture issues there so the the moisture won't seep in and erode or destroy and we the do board nothing. we mm -hmm. do nothing to the board so i'm assuming because it's good for the laundry it will also be good for the bathroom and kitchen also and kitchen yes so laminated you'd say wet areas wet would areas. be very ideal very ideal plain mdf you've explained it's areas that are going to paint for example you said doors for example tv stands mm -hmm. you send your plane yes uh, for the study rooms, mm -hmm. we use MDF plane mm -hmm. where there is no water. Yes, yeah. and what's the third type of board? Particle. Particle, yes. that's the one, yeah. So the particle I said, mm. it's used for framework, mm. for kitchen, yeah. and the or my, uh, bed, you know, bedrooms, uh, cabinets, like wardrobes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. And also, I want you to tell the audience, what is the advantage of being able to customize pieces? rather than purchasing something from a store and bringing it on site uh, the reason why we are using this one for for for, for that no like what is the advantage of building you know being able to bring the materials here and build and the things that. from here instead of maybe buying something and bringing it to the house so when we do we do that something here mm. we work with the materials that we are sure with yes that's our advantage mm. Instead of bringing them mm. where we don't know how what they materials used, they, they used, used yeah. or mm. if they made sure that everything was intact, yeah. or if know. it's going to fit the space the exactly. way you want it. So mm -hmm. we are using our own materials, mm -hmm. we buy our own strong material, quality mm. materials. Yeah. That's the advantage of using of yeah. uh, doing it here. Yeah. 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 So at the end of the day, with your years of experience in this sector, I know you've said you've, you've worked with us for four years, but I'm sure even way before that, you were in the same field. Yes. So would you say that you've had a great experience and you're happy with the type of work you're able to do with fine urban construction and interiors? So the difference is that mm -hmm. when, when uh, 
after I have worked with Fineaba, yes, I've achieved more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In terms of designs, yeah, we have enough designs. Here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get to really sharpen that skill Different because designs. you're always being challenged. Yes, with. yeah, with okay. good designs. So I've achieved mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah. In Fineaba. I can personally say I am looking forward to seeing the end product. Behind us, I can see some of the pieces that you've done. They're curved, and I know that can be particularly difficult. Yeah. I really appreciate the work you guys are doing, and I appreciate that you've taken the time to explain to us you know, the different intricacies between all the, the boards and the materials that you use. Yeah. Thank you very much, David. Uh, thank you. Okay. So there's many aspects of this entire project that showcases the fine part of fine urban construction and interiors, but something that is so major that we've done for this property is cladding. Most of the walls have cladding on them, and this is actually something that, to be honest, is quite expensive, but it's something that has so many different benefits. Some of you might think, oh, just cladding the walls to make them beautiful. It's not necessary. It's just an extra cost. Really, that is not it at all. Of course, we want them to look beautiful, but how many of you actually know that it insulates the house? It regulates the temperature, so your house is never too hot or too cold. I had no idea. It's just a fact that I've learned about today. And I think it's absolutely incredible. If I'm building a house, definitely give me something on the wall that is going to help regulate the temperature and make sure that my house is at a comfortable temperature throughout. Now that is another facet of, of course, working with wood. I've talked about cabinetry and I always talk about this. We customize a lot of things, but mainly I usually focus on things like the cabinetry, you know, things you'll see in the living room, the TV wall unit. Sometimes we, you know, customize out of wood, all this stuff in the kitchen. But that is another facet of working with wood. So our team is the same team who's creating those cabinetries, the same, the, the, the same, exact same people who are doing all this cladding. It looks incredible. And another huge thing that it does is the fact that it protects your walls. This is the guy to ask about all the incredible tiles that you're going to see on this project. So I want him to give us an insight on what it looks like behind the scenes, like working, what's the process like? So, Sasa? It's Anna. Can you kindly introduce yourself to our audience? Okay, thank you. My name is Robert Nyongweso. Mm -hmm. But in the final interiors, yes. my name is Mr. Master. So I was given the name with our CEO. Yes. Yes. Because he's a master of his craft, get yes. it? Because yes. he's really, really good, and you guys are going to be able to see that throughout this project. So I have a couple of questions. Okay. This is a big site. I know it's not your first site to work yeah. on, because you said you've worked with Fine Urban for a while. Yes. What does that process look like? So when you're called into a site like this, what is the first step? Uh, the first thing. I have to check in is uh, to ensure that the work mm -hmm. which I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. first of all, it's ready. Yes. The person who can make the, uh, my work to be ready mm. is the plaster guys. Mm. First of all, I need to ensure if I need to start with the walls, mm -hmm. all the walls are perfect. Mm -hmm. they, they are straight, mm -hmm. they are well yes. prepared mm -hmm. so that I can come and start my tiling work. Yes. Same applies to the floor. Mm -hmm. All the floors, I have to ensure that it's okay. Yes, it's or leveled. It's leveled exactly. every, every surface. The surface is okay. Yes. And I have to check if mm -hmm. the place was done more days earlier. Yeah. Or it's new place. Yes. They have, there's a process I have to do mm -hmm. before I start laying the tiles. Okay. But first of all is to ensure the plaster guys mm -hmm. are prepared each and every place mm -hmm. okay for the tiling work. Mm -hmm. Downstairs of the TV wall area, we have this beautiful design. I have to say, I've seen fine urban construction interiors doing TV wall areas, but nothing quite like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Nothing quite like that. Of course. So we tend to work with the fundis who do carpentry when it comes to, because they'll customize and we'll do that. But now, this project, you're playing a very huge part in all the TV wall areas. Yes. And the one downstairs is looking incredible. 
but I've been told that you're working with some very expensive materials. <laughs> very true. That yeah. is totally very true. Some the very... styling work is very expensive. Yes. The materials are very expensive. Yes. Even the labor, of course. Yes, of course it has to be. <laughs> yes. When you're yes. handling yes. delicate things, yes. and you're making sure they're coming out perfect, yes. you need to make sure that. Make you sure have that you're very carefully. Yes. On the side of handling. Mm -hmm. them. Yes. So speaking of expensive materials, we have exhibition A right here. So what I want to point out is. I always emphasize luxury when it comes to our projects. And luxury does not just mean the size of your house. It's yes. not, having a big house does not necessarily mean it's going to feel luxurious. What really makes it luxurious is choosing the correct materials, materials the best materials for the job. Yes. Not necessarily always the most expensive, but in this project, this was what was going to achieve the goal that we wanted. Yes. And I'll tell you guys, there's three slabs that are going to go on this individual TV yes. wall area. Yes. And one of these is about $600. Yes. That is expensive. So we need to be very delicate. And very carefully. Yeah. Speaking to sure. Master, yes. I am so confident that he's going to do a great job. When I say something, I mean it. And better yet, I can prove it. I'm always talking about how fine urban interiors is all about the details. And what better way to demonstrate that than right behind me, we have the fire pit area. And it's not ordinary. If you've watched any of the other videos, you know the process that it's been to build this. And now you can see we're putting in the final touches and that is the cladding with the stone. Now, what does that do for this area? Of course, when you saw it, before it was bland, it was boring. This adds a textural element. It beautifies the entire area because you have to think of it like this. It's not just, oh, we want something to look good here. We want it to work throughout the entire section. You know, we're still talking about that flow, pool to gazebo, now to the fire pit area. And then we're going to look over into the artificial river. So let's get closer to the river and we can see how this entire area works so well together. So when you go right across, on this other end, we have dug out these sections. It's not complete yet, but this area will have an artificial river. It's going to be perfect, absolutely perfect for this section because you know, when you're using the section, it's so gorgeous, it has the cladding. I mean, just zoom in, just zoom in, zoom in to just see the details of these stones. That texture is just going to do a lot. But imagine sitting in this beautiful area and hearing the running water. I'm trying to set a scene here and I need you guys to work with me. Sitting there, you know, there's a fire on, you have a couple of friends or a couple of family members. There's that sound of water. There's just something that's so pleasing. And I think that's why overall this entire section is going to be incredible. But we're not going to leave it at that. We are taking this incredible cladding over into the barbecue area. So again, social area, you want these places to look like they belong together. So of course, we're not going to just leave the cladding in the uh, sitting area, the fire pit area. We're going to take it also to the barbecue area. So once this area is complete, it's going to look so uniform. It's going to make the, the entire compound, this backyard, from wherever you're looking at, it's going to be so pleasing to the eye and everything is going to flow amazingly together. And that's what I'm talking about when I talk about detail. You have to think about things like that. You can't just be like, well, let's put the stones there and then leave it. No, you have to think about everything in this area has to work well together. They have to look good. And fine urban construction and interiors is 
so incredible at doing that. And that's why I really do enjoy walking through these properties and showing you all the work that is done because really when you see thought processes like that, it just makes you super excited to see the end product. And that's exactly how I'm feeling about this section. So this will be the barbecue area. It's going to have that incredible cladding and the movement is amazing. So I've talked about how if I was someone who lived in this compound, you know, if wishes were horses, everyone would have one. <laughs> but I've talked about how I would be sitting somewhere in the fire pit but this would be the prime seats in the house because if there's anything being barbecued you always want those first bits of meat you want to be the taste taster to make sure that everything is amazing so you could have a bite before it gets to the rest of the people so i can't wait to see how this turned out because it's going to be fully decked if you know fine urban you know you've seen us doing barbecue areas on other properties but the thing that I really really love is that you're never gonna see the same thing twice and even if you do there's always going to be something different about it and for this one as I've mentioned we're going to do the cladding and I guarantee you all the fittings are going to be state-of-the-art top-notch you know how we do we do the best of the best but we're not finished yet we're not done talked about that running water there but we wanted to take that feeling one step further this is a huge backyard it's huge we wanted to make the most of it we wanted it to be an experience i've talked about how we wanted it to feel like a resort and running water is just one of those things that is going to elevate the experience so this compound actually has quite a number of water-based features right we have the river we have the pool and now we also have a waterfall right over here we have a waterfall it's almost complete so there's going to be running water it's a I love this kind of waterfall because it's like an entire wall that's just going to have running water when the client wants and it's just going to elevate the experience of being in this backyard mm -hmm. Okay. So Nimekwita because yes. Nana Mkwapa Mko very busy. But the main thing Nime notice Nataka Utweleze a bit more about ni Kios is Ostas. Yes. So ni kazi yako, ni wo mefanya yo kazi ya. And mimi ndo ni mefanya yo kazi. Lakini kupitia kwa designer ni kuzenzo wetu. Ndi ana tolea design. Alafu ina make. So, Kazienu, you can make sure that the design, lead designer, I'm a letter, because I'm a Hindu, that I can, it has to care proper, Kabisa. Sawa, sawa. Lazima to kishe. You may design it as a novel, that I can, but I can. Okay, so kuna different things then you need to focus on the lap to make sure he design you may find that it will last. Aita Rebecca Raka. Mkuu, na kisha ata katika maeneo ambazo kuna tumia, ambazo rasi singi kwenye chuma kwa Raka. Ndio mara na fanya finishing, ambazo chuma singi kuto na rasi Raka. Na sasa ni tools gani mna tumia? Lazmi si lewi kazi, si ezi lewa vinyo me tenga hizo circles, hizo corners zote ndogo ndogo ni tools gani mna tumia ku create design kama yao? Sawa. Nambu la kwanza, tunafanya kitu kinaitua framework. Framework ni kukunja frame hiyo yote. Ehe, ndo itoke venye imetoke hivyo. Namba mbili, namba tu, tunawanza kuna ni flowers. Hizi flowers sasa ni hizi design dogo ndogo. Design dogo ndogo mbili zinaenda. Nazo zinaenda hivyo hivyo paka. Uko juu kabisa. Na tunakikisha tunaenda kwa vipimo. Sa hiyo mbacho, tunayesu wana design. So each one of hizo, hizo mawa zote ndogo ndogo zimepimwa, zote zikua exactly the same. Izo mawa ndogo ndogo zote nakikisha. Zote zinatoshana. Level moja. One by one, paka yo design yote. Paka yo design yote kamlika. So, ni tools gani hizo minatumia kukunja hizo chuma, ama kukacha hizo chuma, kuchomelea hizo chuma. Sawa, tuna welding machine, alafu tuna grinding. 
machine. Yeah. Grinding machine ina, ina kazi mbili. Mm. Na unaweza kutumia kukata kata, kuvunja mm -hmm. na kukata kata mm -hmm. kabisa na kuchoma. Yeah. Welding machine naye uh -huh. baada ya kusakata na grinding yeah. na grinder mm -hmm. alafu ndio na weld na. So hakuna kama ko, computer ama machine yenye unaweka chuma una type ile design unataka alafu inakunja yenyewe alafu una. Ni lazima kila kitu ifanywe na mkono ndio kila kitu ikwe the same size eh, sawa mm. kila ambacho tunaweza tukafanya tunatengeneza mm. gauge mm. ya vipimo zetu mm. ambazo isipishane vipimo yeah, yeah. uh, hiyo gauge tunatumia square mm. na futi tunahakikisha mm -hmm. sasa tukiweka flowers uh -huh. inafuata bila kupotea naona ni kama bado mnaendelea mko na kazi mingi but naweza sema hiyo imenifurahisha sana I can see some pieces and easy ni kazi za dirisha, si ndio? Ndio, ni kazi ya hizi ni milango. Mm, na. Ndiyo, milango na pamoja na madrisha. Yeah, so mkiendelea mm. hiyo kazi nitarudi tuongee pia unielezea about hizo pieces but nimefurahi sana hii kazi ina kazi smart. Sawa sawa sawa. Sana but asante sana for your time. Haya. Haya, bye. bye. Now that you have a better understanding of all the hard work that has gone behind creating these incredible rails, of course I cannot ignore other details that you can see from the exterior. We've done molding work, but the mo thing I'm most excited about is the interior. So let me give you a bit of an idea of what the space planning uh, is kind of looks like. So for the bottom floor, we want to have the main bar area, lounge area where you can chill where you come in from uh, the pool, you can relax. Or even, for me personally, I feel like if I had a gazebo like this, I wouldn't just use it because I'm swimming. I just use it in time of the day. But anyway, each to their own. But the upstairs area is actually going to have like a mini, a mini bar area, and it's going to be the theater. The theater, it's just, I'm super excited, I don't know. I want you guys to tell me what you are most excited about, but for me, the idea of having a whole theater area within your compound outside of the main house is just beautiful. But of course, with adding these features, we have to add things in there that are going to really elevate that experience and really make it feel like a theater. Because we all know a theater is not just, just a screen. You could have a big screen anywhere, but we have to make sure that it really feels like that. So there's a lot of features we've added in there to make it feel like you're really going out. I hope that video was as enlightening for you as it was for me. We picked up on things to consider and you know, especially for spaces that have to work together. That was a huge consideration for this. I know I've kind of touched on that over and over again, but it was such an impo important factor. You have to make sure aesthetically they fit together and functionally as well, they fit together so that the client gets the most use out of the entire space and it feels harmonious. I think that's my favorite word right now. If you found this video interesting and you want to see more content like this, go to our YouTube channel, find Urban Interiors on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff and share. Share these videos with as many people as you can if you really genuinely enjoy our content, but make sure to turn on your notifications because that's the only way you'll know every single time that we post a new video. But we're not only on YouTube, we're also on all other social media platforms. Find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're also on TikTok, all at Fine Oven Interiors. My name is Cynthia Shoya from Fine Oven Interiors and I'll see you guys in the next video.